where this solar eclipse happens and Ketu represents the end of our identification with transient things. Ketu is the uh, tail of Rahu. It's just like the body that died after getting its uh, prize reaching the top and then finishing. Ketu represents the place where there is a void in our life, where there is no point more in going that direction, because it's the place where we reach it, the top. So, in one aspect, Rahu represents all the ambition, and Ketu, in the other side, represents no ambition. Rahu and Ketu are always 180 degrees apart. Just like dragon's head and dragon's tail. Ketu, although it's a uh, asuric uh, nature, it works in a spiritual um, movement. So, in one side we have um, Mars, Venus, and Saturn. They are, are one camp direct to material action. The other side is Moon, Sun and Jupiter, more prone to spiritual growth. Mars in the middle. It can act everywhere. Rahu goes to the camp of the Asuric the materialistic band ones. And Ketu, this is an interesting information, information goes to the Deva side. Because Ketu is just like, I'm, I'm, um, there is no more point in going to the material world. I just have reached everything. Now it's just space. It's nothingness. So Ketu can be a very spiritual and uh, learning planet. It's a pitta planet also. But it can make a lot of trouble because nothing in life makes sense. It depends on how placed it's on a, in relation to the signs and houses and the relation of the other planets. All the planets, the grahas, in Jyotish can act to make your life easier and sweeter, or can act in a way to make your life harsher and um, 
not sour. Um, I don't remember the word in English now, it's ticta. It's the one that it makes us feel uh, harsh. The idea is that Ketu is bringing your final and more subtle aspect of your life. If Ketu is placed in a very spiritual house, it indicates that the person is just like in her last mundane life, terrestrial life. Keto is a moksha planet. It's the graha that puts the end of the materialistic search. It's just the opposite of Rahu that it's bringing you to the most top of materialistic bent. Usually Keto can bring a lot of confusion and loneliness when it's badly placed but it can also bring you final detachment. This is a very good word to synthesize Ketu action, detachment. This can also be good or bad. If you're interested to know more about your chart and your psychological and physiological energetics, according to Jyotish, we can talk through internet, can have some uh, Skype and uh, Hangouts consultation. And please remember that Jyotish is mainly an action for you to be more aware of some, of some tendencies in your mind and your body. It's not about giving your destiny, it's only about to uh, unveiling some tendencies and impulses that are coming and going into your mind because of this grahas, these scissors that are um, grabbing and taking your energetics to one direction or another. It's a very beautiful science, a science that can illuminate your life toward, towards your spirituality. I hope you have uh, enjoyed this travel. Now we are just finishing this first um, Ayurveda by Namaste series in English, losing the head, just as Ketu. And uh, thanks for watching. It was very fun to record these videos here in India. Namaste. Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya If you want to have online consultations, please contact my email namaste.tiago at gmail.com Namaste!